What is going on, gang? I'm Valentine. Welcome to a not very well written book. Oh, wow, that was a bit of a shock. But anyway, let's go. Hmm. Recently, demons have been attacking a lot. Okay, why? But hopefully, you'll find that book that tells you exactly how to push the demons away. You have just you just have to follow exactly what you're told. Analyze the demon and search in the book to draw the pentagram and beat him. Okay, there's five different places in the pentagram that you can change. Okay. You have to finish before the enemy gets to you. When you're sure about your pentagram, use the knife to sacrifice some of your blood and activate your attack. Okay. Let's go! What is this? Okay. Pick up the book. Uh... For this one, you'd have to check. Okay, it's getting close. Oh, hang on, no, back. This is the first page. Okay, close the book. Read the first page. Oh, I'm almost done. That is not the first page. Last page. Okay, so this is the first page. On this pentagram, you have four variable slots. You can write your symbol, but first, you have to check the demon. Alright, the top slot is for the head of the demon. You have to check if they have one, two, or three. So this one's got one. Okay. For one eye demons, use the fireball symbol. For two eyes, check if he do or does not have a beak. Okay. Like chicken, in case you'll need to use the air symbol. If not, use the fire symbol. At least three, use water. Okay. For this one, so for the first one, we need to use fire. It's not fire. Which one was fire? Uh, fire just a straight up triangle. There we go. Okay, that's the fire. For this one, you'll have to check the details of the demon. The demon. If a demon can fly, you'll have to use water symbol. I'm assuming it can fly. It's got wings. Uh, which one was the water symbol? Oh, shit. Uh, water. What was the down triangle? It's getting really close. It's halfway back up soon. Uh, if you sight. Okay, uh, what's this? If they have used air symbol. Also, if they have some horn or even broken horns, use the earth symbol. And if they have some. If you fight some pervert demon, use the fire symbol. Anyway, let's continue on to the next one, right? For this one, for their hand, if they have two normal hands, use the earth symbol. But if they have two muscular hands, you'll need to use the water symbol. For tentacles, use air. Okay, which one was the air symbol? Air was that. Okay, that's all four of them filled. Next page. We're almost done. Let's talk about the link between them, okay? So far for this one symbol, you just have to check the legs of the demon. Go like. Uh if he has two legs, hairless, use the fight the first link. But if they're hairy and look like more of an animal, use the second, okay? There we go. Use it. Go! Sorry. Well, we immediately died to go to demon number one. Wow. This is going to take some time, isn't it? Okay, that took way too long, but I understand these controls now. One down. Who knows how many more to go. Okay. Can I move to the next one? Is that it? Is that it? Uh, okay. So, what was it? Uh, two eyes. Let's get back to the first page. Two eyes check. Check in. That's the case. You'll need the air symbol. Uh, if not, use the air symbol. Use the air symbol first. There's this one. Uh, no, he can't fly. Can he fly? Yeah, he has a tail. He has a tail. Distance. How much was the middle distance? That one. And 
one and two, unless something gets cracked. Smash! There we go. Alright. Getting there. Not bad. So we just sit here and like farm demons down, do we? Alright. Okay, let's let's go again. Actually, I'm curious. Perhaps if we just sit here and let the beast get to us. Do we get a different death screen or is it just the same as well? As the normal desk, you know, just pops up and says, sorry, try again. Ask the question. Would it be a different screen? Would not. Find out. Ooh. Well, it's almost here, so let's see if we get anything different. If not, I have the symbol all ready to go. Just in case. Can you move a bit closer? Come on, move it faster. Dude, you got like nine legs. Move quicker, come on. Snap those legs on the ground and pull yourself forward. Come on. Yeah. Um. Come on. Different death screen or this is gonna be the he's touched me completely and he's just gone by. No, it's just the same one. Well, may as well go again. Nearly the same guy. Tail, one eye. So what was one eye? The demon has one eye. Use the fire. Okay, that's in place. Uh, be careful. Looks like they're flying or not. Some demons have a tail. Okay, tail. That was the S. And the S was that. What was the next one? This second. Uh, Lots of hands. Okay, tentacles. What was that? Water. The tentacles. Tentacles use the S. So there again. He's long distance away. So the end symbol. And another third. What's this? Two legs, third is out. Ghost, okay. So this is how it is between the two fourth. So fourth symbol. No, that had to be the last one. That was the fourth symbol, that was the fourth one, okay. Go! Nice. Whoa, that's a different one, okay. It's actually got the beak thing this time, right? So, two eyes, if it does, it does not have a beak, like a chicken. In that case, you'll need to use the air symbol. So, air for the top one. Then for this one, it's... Looks like a flying knot. Hang on, let's check the details. Do you fly? Water symbol. Doesn't look like it's flying. But it does have two broken horns, so we need the earth symbol. Use that. Do that. One one. And for this one... Two normal. What's this? We have two normal hands. Not normal hands. We have two muscle hands. Hang on, if have two normal hands, use the earth symbol. I hope this is correct. Okay, let's go to the last one. Uh, linking symbols. Okay. If we have tentacles, use the fourth one. There we go. Middle distance. That's correct for middle distance. Let's hope this is correct. Slice the hand. Ah, uh, yes. Just fight off the demons, one by one. Brilliant. So we do one more? I don't know. I think maybe we should just do another one, maybe another two. Hmm. Well, let's go again. One, maybe two final times. Okay, two eyes. What was it? Uh, use a fire symbol. Change the beak. It looks like a chicken in that case. And the air symbol if not use the earth. The earth was the black one. There we go. One, if it has a tail, um, what was it? Demons that have a tail, trying to hide it around their hand, does not use the air symbol. Air symbol, what's that? Third page, uh, hands, normal hands. Use the earth symbol, the earth symbol was. Same with the top one, alright. There we go, so that's that, that's that, that's that. The guides, okay, if it has normal legs, just to check the legs. If they have two legs, use the first link. So use that link. There we go. He's away from getting middle distance, just so we can get this correct. Middle distance, and now we wait. Just a few more seconds for his head to cross, and slash the hand. What? Oh, we actually... Damn, my man's a strong ghost. Look at him, look at those arms. Damn. Okay. If the demon has two eyes, use the fire symbol. If the demon has one eye, use the fire symbol. 
if for two eyes you have to check if he doesn't or if he does doesn't have a beak no he's a pretty normal looking nose and if I check in that case you'll need to use the earth if not use the earth symbol yes use the earth symbol which is this for his arms to fly we have to use the water be careful some are just ghosts they look like they're flying if they're not so if he's not flying what do you do you have to check the details if a demon can fly he's a ghost And with that final demon dead gang, we're going to end today's episode. If you all enjoyed watching this, much as I enjoyed making it, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the bell, turn on notifications, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye for now. <laughs>